guys, what's going on? Good to see you again in October. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winnerbelly Commons. This episode is going to be my market update for all Seattle and all east side locations for months of October. I took out today a lot of data and before we jump into this market update, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm going to provide for you guys a lot of information you can use to build your financial future. And let's begin. I don't even know where to begin. By the September, Mortgage News Daily published the mortgage interest rate for three years fixed mortgages was 6.11%. And I'm recording this video in the first week of October and currently right now the mortgage rate over 7%, 7.12%. And Rentfin, in one of the latest articles, put it Seattle number one. Yes, we number one, number one in um, market cooling fastest. That's not good. Oh boy, this is not good. We're number one, but we're number one cooling fastest real estate market in the United States right now. Let's listen to one opinion from the banker and what media says about real estate market in Seattle. Probably isn't a, a city in America that has seen greater real estate price increases than Seattle over the past two decades, let's say. Are you beginning to see, with mortgage rates going up where they are, are you beginning to see some slowdown in price increases or maybe even uh, some, some, some price declines? We are uh, seeing some decrease in prices, not, not only a slowdown, but some decreases in prices. But I think that's healthy, Tyler. Uh, we went too far, too fast. And, you know, if we end up with a 5, 10 or 15 percent decrease in prices, I think that's OK. As you pointed out on the intro, that's good for consumers. Uh, one of the things that people don't fully comprehend is the amount of cash sitting in bank accounts for both businesses and consumers. Going into the pandemic, there was, I think, what, 13 trillion dollars sitting in deposits on U.S. banks. Very interesting. People have a lot of money a lot of money on hands. Currently, people have even more money after pandemic than people had money before pandemic. It was very interesting for me to find out how many homes and condominiums together, how many properties people buying for cash right now on today's market. And what I did, I run data from Northwest MLS and I've got two big cities, Bellevue and Seattle, and run number first for Bellevue and see like how many homes were sold, how many people financed them and how many people actually purchased for cash. So what I found out was shocking news. We have like about 100 properties sold for the last 30 days. So people still buying homes for the last 30 days in condominiums. And uh, from 100 properties was sold, 37 properties was purchased for cash. So that's about 37% properties in Bellevue was purchased for cash for last 30 days. I ran same data for all Seattle locations and what I find out in Seattle from all homes, approximately 800 homes, 141 properties was purchased for cash. That's about 21%. So 21% properties was purchased in Seattle for cash for last 30 days. That's answer your question, guys. If people still buying or on the fence, yes, people still buying. A lot of home selling right now. Majority of properties people finance, still finance even with this high, very high interest rate. But a lot of people buying properties for cash. You guys know, like in New York City, 50% of all real estate sales done in cash. 50% all real estate done in cash. So we're not there yet. So Seattle and all this side, we're still very small comparable to New York City, but we slowly go in that direction so with unaffordability and very high interest rates. People still going to purchase properties. People still go to buy real estate. Higher number we see over like $2 million, $3 million, and more and more cash buyers buying those properties. And now let's look together very important data, months of supply and inventory in different Seattle areas. You guys can see on the screen with me together. We do have more green color, which is 
represent balance market in between two to four months and i will put for you guys a little bit larger screen you guys can see here on this screen so pretty much all areas it's a balance market right now except uh, west seattle burien uh, except maple valley maple valley still sellers market uh, isekwa and samamish still sellers market and um, wooden wheel it's a still seller's market it's a less than two months in inventory but in all other areas guys you can see with me on the screen right now we do have a balance market right now i will start this update with seattle and seattle represents a lot of different areas like west seattle north seattle green lake ballard uh, magnolia queen Anne. so i will combine all those areas together and uh, this data you guys can see with me on the screen represent all those neighborhoods together so what we see in seattle in seattle we see medium sale price currently about nine hundred thousand dollars an increase year over year for about six percent in seattle uh, we have 2.1 months inventory and a little bit shy from 1200 active listings in month of september and about 558 pending sales and in seattle in september 19 percent homes sold above asking price 17 percent homes sold at asking price six percent of all homes have to reduce price before they were sold and 30 eight percent homes was sold with price reduction this is very important data for you guys if you're thinking to sell the property if you price house right your house still can sell above asking price and can fit to those 19 percent in seattle 51 percent of all homes in seattle sell in less than 15 days on the market i can say market is still healthy it's a balanced market it's more to the buyer's favor right now but it's still good balanced market property selling and if you guys can see like 51 percent all homes was listed last month on the market was sold less than 15 days this is pretty fast pace for the market and 24 percent homes sold within 30 days on the market if you guys combine those numbers together 51 percent and 24 percent is going to be 75 percent almost 76 percent homes selling within 30 days on the market this is pretty healthy and pretty good with that guys out of selling in seattle is still high it's 81 percent if you plan to sell a property it's a good time to sell because chances of 81 percent this is a very interesting slide for you guys i put it together this slide uh, represents peaks and highs and bottoms of the market with medium close sell price payment and interest rate and you guys can see the peak of the with the interest rate was about 5.52 percent and medium sell price in seattle was about one million dollars so mortgage payment was approximately 5690 dollars in seattle but right now even higher interest rate 6.11 percent uh, we do have slightly less payment for a couple hundred dollars because medium sell price dropped from one million to nine hundred thousand dollars to the buyer's favor and properties become a little bit more affordable in seattle and this is very interesting slide as well with the uh, peaks and valleys you guys can see different prices prices is adjusting right now in seattle and we have medium sell price like nine hundred thousand dollars is drop from last month but it seems like we reach bottom of another valley and uh, we'll see what's going to be happening in the future very high possibility price is going to be go up again and price is going to be increased if interest rate again uh, stays the same or maybe will be reduced for just a little bit and numbers of listings sold above list price in seattle in september about 19 percent it's the lowest for last five years but you guys can see like every year line is going up dramatically in january january february march march and april probably the best time to sell property if you're planning to sell but after that is every year this line is going down and this year so much because we, we have very very high interest rate and affordability as buyers again uh, decrease a lot but we'll see what's going to be happen again in january so next january will be new cycle for real estate 
usually people start with listed properties in January and February and we record a lot of sales and we're gonna have big wave of listings and more listings available in the market for buyers we'll see what's going to be happen with the prices and what's going to be happen that time with this interest rate that's going to be very very interesting to see on this slide you guys can see average historical data for last 10 years so we move into normal seasonality so right now we're in october and in december starts christmas and different holidays too and we have a lot of holidays coming up so most people not going to list properties and sell in november december the most people are going to be list properties is after January and with seasonality you guys can see in October we are still expecting to have 108% amount of listings on the market and will be slightly reduced in November to 85% and even more reduced to in December to 58% so that's normal that's what's happening every year for last 10 years and I'm expecting this year market going to be shifting to very similar numbers and now Let's jump into east side. East side uh, represents it's uh, east from Lake Washington areas, uh, starting from like Basel, Woodenville, and going south to Sammamish, Issaquah, Bellevue, Kirkon, Redmond, Mercer Island. And on the east side, if you guys can see with me on this slide, medium sell price one million three hundred fifty thousand dollars did not change comparable to last month. So it was the same medium sell price on east side. So medium sell price still the same in September as was in August. But price increased year over year for about 3%. Currently, we have 1.9 months of inventory and a little bit over 1,000 active listings in September and about 342 pending sales in all east side locations. So 1.9 months of listings, it's a seller's market. We're almost in a balanced market on east side, but we need a little bit more listings to get to the buyer's favor to get more to the balanced market. Oh boy, only 13% homes in sales east side sold above asking price and 9% at asking price you guys add those numbers together so it's about 22 uh, percent only 22 percent as much smaller numbers than in seattle uh, properties sell at or above asking price and 53 percent homes they have to reduce price before they was able to sell the property that's a lot of price reduction you guys in the previous screen we have about thousand homes on the market so that means about 500 homes they have to reduce price before they're able to sell the property 42 percent of all homes in sale is side selling less than 15 days on the market that's pretty good but why is it selling less than 15 days in the market? Because agents know what they're doing. And it's very important for you guys to choose the right agent, understand the market, understand the marketing for your property. This is very, very important. And as of selling sales is side 71%. It's a pretty good number. And you guys can see in this episode, uh, between all Seattle areas and all east side locations, we have like almost thousand homes sold for last months. So market moving, the market is pretty good right now. A very important slide for sales east side, medium close sell price, payments and interest rate. You guys can see with me those peaks and valleys. Most expensive was to buy property in sales east side was April 2022 when we have medium sell price over 1.7 million dollars. Even with lower interest rate, a mortgage payment was about $9,226 a month. And currently right now, uh, for September numbers, you guys can see we had interest rate 6.11% because we have lower medium sell price, $1,350,000. Property become more affordable for the buyer's favor and payment lower almost for $1,000 a month. Currently, it's $8,190 a month. And let's look together medium close sell price for last two years for sales east side residential data. You guys can see those peaks and valleys with me together on the screen. And the highest amount of money you can get for the house was April 2022. People who sold properties in April got the most money for the house. And after April, prices start dropping. Year to date, prices increase for about 3% as of September. And if somebody bought property a year ago or two years ago, you guys can still sell the property, you can still make a profit, you're not losing anything. 
Let's look together on this green line. You see it right now. The green line uh, represents correction range for sales east side and seems like we right now on the bottom of this range and market is pretty flat right now on sales east side and listing inventory is shrinking specifically when we go into November and December and these holiday seasons. We're going to see less listings on the market. And right now it doesn't really matter what interest rate will be very important what will be interest rate in January and February what Fed's going to do beginning of next year if they decide to reduce interest rate if they decide to stimulate economy if they decide to they have to fight with recession what we're going to see we're going to see another price increase we're going to see another flip on the market with that guys for you guys if you're a buyer looking to buy right now right now it's a great opportunity to reach button of correction range and from this point uh, if you're gonna have less interest rate in january price may go up again and as i was promised for you guys on the beginning of this video i will cover a little bit snohomish county and as you guys can see on the screen with me right now in snohomish we do have 1.7 months inventory it is still seller's market it's not balanced market yet we have about 961 pending sales last month and we have 1624 active listings on the market in september medium sell price is nahomish county $735,000 increase for 9% year over year I can just comment on that. Uh, Snohomish County is more healthier. As you guys can see on this slide, we have about 16% homes sold about asking price and 15% at asking price. Combining together those two numbers is 31% homes sold at or above asking price and 50% uh, sellers have to reduce price before they was able to sell the property. It's very similar situation to Seattle locations so Snohomish County is moving forward with a lot of sales pretty healthy market uh, still seller's market and I hope we, we're going to have a little bit more inventory and we're going to move in Snohomish to more healthier and balanced market let's summarize this video what we learned today market is healthy market moving from seller's market more to the balance market in many areas and counties in Washington state you guys can see clearly we have thousand homes sold between King County and Snohomish County it will be unfair to say market going to be drop 60 percent next couple of the months or sellers not going to be able to ever sell the property numbers don't lie so we have data from Northwest MLS and data clearly show us what's happening on the market and how many homes sold and how many homes spending in each county and each city every single month but i do have advice for buyers and for sellers and um, let's start with sellers if you guys are sellers seeking to sell the property property is selling right now do not be afraid do not listen to those youtubers who are telling you nothing is selling you have to drop 20 35 or 50 percent from the price to sell the property that simply it's not true as example this property i show you guys on the screen right now so i sold in renton washington in september renton washington it's a south city from uh, bellevue it house 3500 square feet located on normal average lot was sold for one million six hundred twenty five thousand dollars yes that's correct a house in Renton was sold for $1,625,000 and we closed on these transactions on October 7. I'll show you guys this example to show you that any property can be sold with the right tool, with the right agent, an agent who know what he is doing. And if you guys have any questions, I will be love to talk to you about your sale, about your property, regardless if you in king county and snohomish county so regardless which city you live in if you live in washington state i will be able to help you to sell your home pretty much anywhere so reach out to me i will be glad to be your real estate resource 
And um, if you're a buyer looking to buy the property, think about the interest rate. Interest rate is very important because if there's going to be increased interest rate and a lot of people will stall to sell the property, for example, in springtime, market going to be flat. Market going to be the same market as of right now, but with an even higher interest rate possibly next year. But if interest rate going to be reduced next year and first decide to fight with recession, reduce mortgage interest rate, what the, that's going to be happen, market going to be flip and will be more difficult to buy the property because those thousand buyers who are on a fence right now, they're going to be moved to the market to buy the property and will be simply not enough inventory for them to buy. So market can be flip and prices going to be up again. Right now it's a great time to buy. I know it's very difficult to buy for you guys when you're thinking about interest rate, it's really high. But think in this way, if you're able to buy right now, if you afford to buy right now, and when interest rate going to be decreased, if that's going to be happen, guys, you're going to be have big Black Friday sale. You can refinance your property, reduce your mortgage for thousands of dollars, but you're going to have best price possibly you can get on today's market and you're gonna have very affordable and comfortable payment for your family. Try to save money right now. Saving, 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 it's a very important words in recession time. Uh, you might have a fine second job, paid off your credit cards, make sure you have no debts, you don't have any high payment for anything you own guys and with that guys you can win in this changing market if you guys need help reach out to me i'll be glad to be your real estate resource i'll be glad to be your agents who will help you to find your dream home if you like this episode smash like button subscribe to my youtube channel until next episode